right, welcome back. You are still watching What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways. Now, a bit of current affairs here. Today is February the 1st, which is Black History Month. So this month has been set aside to celebrate the contributions of um, African Americans to the British and the American history. Right, so now moving away from that, today also happens to be the National Freedom Day, and it's a day observed on the 1st of February, which celebrates freedom from slavery. It also recognizes that America is a symbol of liberty. This day honors the signing by Abraham Lincoln of a joint House and Senate resolution that later became the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. President Lincoln signed the amendment outlawing slavery on February 1st, 1865. It was not ratified by the states, however, until later on December 18th, 1865. Right, so there is a bit of current affairs, could be helpful if you want to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Now you yes. know. So right now, now you know. So here is what caught our attention in the news, Nata. Okay, so seeing that um, our current affairs takes us to the United States and mm -hmm. taking a story from the United States, which we're all familiar with, and right. it's the passing of the uh, legendary f uh, basketball player, Kobe Bryant. Oh. I know, so, so, so I mean, I'm one of those people that have mourned and people don't understand it but for me it was just a really really tragic situation thinking about mm -hmm. his wife Vanessa Bryant who oh dear. Um, and this is what the story is about you know she's come out like this is not her first um, um, comment but then this is the second time she's coming out to honor her husband and daughter who passed mm -hmm. in this uh, tragic helicopter crash last week Sunday um, she 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 honored them by calling them our angel oh. and also putting the hashtag there's no um, there's no number two without there's, there's no, no 24, 24 without, without number two. two which is the number of the jerseys of her daughter and Mamba, husband uh, respectively Mamba. you know so and the reason this caught my uh, um, this story is important to me is it's two pronged so it's sad that it happened but it's also mm -hmm. you know a reminder that you know what our purpose here is really important i think that could be lived a truly meaningful and impactful Absolutely. life yeah. you know cutting across borders everybody in the world has a story to say about this man mm -hmm. what what difference is made in their lives and, and there were so many telling. inspiring footage so many of him. inspiring you know I, I feel like i'm obsessed i've been watching different footage i've been it's so looking. different for me i just can't i've cried stand i know because, because for me it gives so me sad. strength so i'll give you an example last week um i think i was doing something and i was like you know what kobe wouldn't you know this is not how kobe made impacts mm -hmm. and i thought you know what wake up and do this because he was he was a hard worker was diligent committed disciplined he, and then some of the things that have come out he was an amazing father so mm -hmm. and he was on the way to um his this helicopter his, his daughter's, his daughter's game, game numbers, yeah right so and he started the hashtag girl dad girl, yes, he has yes. because i hear now men are now in fact recognizing the relationship with their daughters posting so pictures beautiful. and the hashtag girl dad is trending and i'm a mother of two daughters so for me it's like yay it's not about having Fantastic. a son anymore yeah. Yeah. to leave a legacy it, it doesn't matter whether you have a boy or a girl it's mm. just about what you do you know, yeah. and leave a meaningful life. Yeah, that's absolutely. Message. I've never seen it that way. Thank We're you. still mourning uh, Kobe are. Bryant, number 24 for Lakers, uh, if you're into um, NBA. Yes. Right, so it's really sad. Our hearts go out to the and family. The May God strengthen you. Absolutely. All right, so moving on back to Nigeria, here is what we found in the news. For people who um, take um, the train from Abuja to um, Kaduna, which obviously the road is terrible and there have been several kidnap cases, which is why okay. most people would rather go for the train, which is a lot more expensive. I think it's about 1,500 for regular and 3,000 oh, wow. for first class. Yeah. So now the train is no longer as safe as we all believe it is wow, because um, the kidnappers have uh, found a new way to rob people and kidnap people. Wow. So usually when you drop uh, from uh, Kubwa station or from wherever to Rigasa, there is a park there that you, you take a cab or keke, and whichever you can afford. So what they do is they go down the road and wait for um, passengers. Wow. So obviously wow. you won't trek down, you need to take a cab. So they stop yeah. the cabs and they kidnap people. So there was a situation um, last Friday that was unsuccessful and then they came back on Saturday and this time around kidnapped two people and they're currently asking for 20 million ransom Goodness gracious. so um i think we need to call the Our attention security. of the government to this security. walk on the road and increase security at the train stations we are grateful that the train is working even though it, it could be faster it's like two hours but please do something people people have to move around Absolutely. and we need security it's quite sad 
It is. It's, it's unsettling, you know. That's, I think and you know the interesting thing is, on that same road, you have the NDA, Nigerian Defense Academy. Really? Yeah, the road wow. leading to the airport and Even the more train station. Thinking you'd expect that that place, there's high security. That's, I'm not then... surprised. I, where I was working in 2012 in yeah. Shagamu, our building was not far from the police station. It was less than three minutes walk from the police station. So I'm mm. not surprised. It's not, it's not surprising. All right. Mm. Anyway, moving on. I think this just have just chilled into my story talking about okay. security. And this comes from this day. I think it's a very popular news now. Um, it was out yesterday that the US adds Nigeria to stringent traveling restriction list, finally. Oh dear. So the rumor has been on that we would be ordered. It's no longer speculation. It's no now longer confirmed. speculation. It's now confirmed. So the other five countries that are in this with us, Eritrea, Sudan, Tanzania, Tanzania yeah. Kazakhstan, and Yama. Hmm. But are we are we on that list for the same exact same? So reasons? I'm I'm getting yeah. to that almost. Okay. And the ban is just on immigrant visa, but we know how that is going to affect of visiting visas. Of course. Mm -hmm. The two main reasons for that: number one, according to a publication in the in the U.S. Um, from the U.S. National Security Defense, and it's actually on the White House mm -hmm. um, website, that Nigeria does not adequately share public safety and terrorism-related information, which is necessary for the protection of the national security and public safety of the U.S. I can't mm -hmm. believe that. Number okay, well, one. I see we have and we just talked about one. Number yeah. two, that our beloved brothers and sisters that travel to go and visit people never come back. We, I'm sure with all of us, we know like I, three people at least that I, are going to not come well, back. Well, I have heard and I have, I know, know some people, mm -hmm. we know. <laughs> That Be careful traveled. what you say, they might come for you. No, not to you. <laughs> but they have traveled and we're still waiting for them. It's two years and we're still waiting for it them. It was a visiting visa. It was a visiting wow. visa. People go to give birth. You never hear, you're like, every day, are you not coming back? The baby needs to be strong. The baby's that. three That's years. terrible. See, people like that make it difficult exactly. for us. They make it difficult for everybody. Absolutely. And it's, it's just, I don't know what to say if it's good, if it's unsettling, because you have mm. people that genuinely are doing business in yeah. the US. They need yes. to travel. The people that need to renew their visas for genuine reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a different school of thought to this. People think, you know what, well, maybe if they start to place this exactly. restriction, we will stay and we fix will stay our, our own country. Our own country. Oh, yeah. You know what? <laughs> the good thing is this is what we're discussing today. Exactly. It's all part of it. We're discussing the Nigerian identity. And right after the break, the futurist Olakuli Sharia joins us right after the break. Please stay with us.